Hello everyone. Welcome to BISP Solutions. Today I am going to talk about challenges while implementing the NetSuite. Implementing NetSuite may have some benefits as well as challenges. But today we are focusing on challenges that we usually face at the time of NetSuite implementation. Few of the challenges are poor data migration and integration. So migrating data without planning and preparing thoroughly can lead to the risk of data getting corrupted and used incorrectly. So before transferring data, consider how you will do it and understand the process thoroughly before implementation. Resistance to change. Uh, resistance to change often emerge when employees feel unprepared to adapt and adopt new process due to lack of onboarding, upskill training, and end user support. One of the challenges is that not documenting requirements and business need. Failing to document your company's current needs and requirement is another one of the NetSuite implementation mistake you must look to avoid. Before you undertake implementation, examine your current process and system and identify what is lacking. By doing so, you can ensure that you are getting the correct process on board and are not missing out any critical improvement that you might later require. Then ignoring data cleansing before implementation. So clean data is critical to the successful implementation of NetSuite in our organization. Before you migrate existing data into your new system, you must ensure it is clean, organized and achieved. In case you fail to do this, you might have to deal with the same issue in your new system that used to harm your old system. Then not allocating enough time before go live. So this is one of the important challenge that uh, not allocating enough time before you go live with complete implementation of NetSuite. It can lead to user related issues and errors in the future. So before going live, ensure you are given enough time to train your employees and let them get to know the system involve key people in the process and ensure they get adequate practice with the sandbox tool. Not using the NetSuite sandbox tool. So this is also happens that the NetSuite sandbox tool gives you employees, give your employees the opportunity to explore and use the system in a safe environment before going live. So this will help reduce the probability of mistakes and errors being committed during the actual implementation process as well as future use. So all these are few challenges which we usually face at the time of implementation. There are so many other challenges as well. Okay, so sign of failing NetSuite implementation. Despite careful planning and execution, NetSuite implementation gets failure. So it is important to recognize these signs early and take corrective actions and ensure a success. Like delayed timely, uh, like delayed timelines and missed deadlines. So delays can occur due to poor project management, inadequate resource allocation, or unexpected technical challenges. So timely monitoring of project process progress and addressing any delays promptly is essential to keep the implementation on track. Then system performance and stability issues. These issues can disrupt daily operations, hamper productivity and erode user confidence in the new system. So by monitoring system performance, conducting regular testing and addressing performance issues promptly is essential to maintain a stable and efficient implementation. Then user dissatisfaction and low adoption rate. If users 
encounter missing or incorrect data, it can lead to errors in reporting, hinder decision making and compromise data integrity. So regular data validation and verification during the implementation process and ongoing data quality management are crucial to ensure accurate and complete data within NetSuite. Inaccurate or incomplete data. If users find the system challenging to use, experience frequent errors or perceive that the new system needs to meet their needs, so they may resist using it. So user feedback and engagement are vital to identifying and addressing usability issues through additional training, uh, system enhancements or user support. Then financials and operational disruptions. These disruptions can have significant financial impl implications, impact customer, dis uh, sorry, customer satisfaction and erode organizational credibility. So identifying and addressing operational disruptions is a crucial to minimize their impact on the business. So here is the rescue strategies. So how can we rescue this? First, we can like uh, revise the implementation plan and goals. So here, we need to set the realistic timelines and milestones, considering the complexities and challenges at the time of implementation. We can also identify the critical business process that need immediate attention and prioritize them. Then optimizing data migration and integration. Uh, we can validate and reconcile the data within the NetSuite system to ensure accuracy and completeness. Analyze and resolve any data mapping issues between the NetSuite and other system. We can review the integration points between the NetSuite and other system to identify areas for the improvement. We can also perform a comprehensive assessment uh, by evaluating current system configuration and customization. Also, we can review data migration and integration process. Enhance user training and change management. So by providing comprehensive training sessions, including hands-on exercises and real-world scenarios that users are proficient in utilizing the NetSuite system. Then engage the NetSuite implementation expert uh, here we can do that. We seek the assistance of NetSuite implementation professionals who have extensive ex experience and knowledge. Also, leverage their expertise in system configurations, customization, data migration, and change management to navigate the complexity of the implementation process. Okay, so this is all about the challenges. Then after implementation, why next we get failure and then how to rescue the uh, rescue strategies. So all this thing we have seen today. Okay, so that's all for today. Thank you.